The COVID-19 Steering Committee, along with other stakeholders and PAHO officials, gathered at the Coco Palm Hotel as they engaged in a five-day COVID-19 after-action review to analyze the lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic with a view to analyze the areas that require strengthening in preparation for future pandemics. The After Action Review, or AAR, is a component of the International Health Regulations Monitoring and Evaluation Framework to increase accountability and transparency among countries and with the World Health Organization Secretariat. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma George said St. Lucia was the first country in the region to request an After Action Review following COVID-19. My assessments of what we've gone through with COVID, I have looked at the positives and seen where our health system has grown because of COVID. Um, the sad part were the hospitalizations and the deaths, but it has served to strengthen the health system as a whole. And I think it's important that we ensure that we sustain whatever measures are put in place. Um, moving forward. Dr. Oscar Lepuble with PAHO says the AAR is not just a process but a testament to a nation's commitment to continuous improvement and preparedness for the future. He added that through St. Lucia's partnership with PAHO for the After Action Review, the island is continuing to showcase its leadership in public health. The collaboration, he added, will not only benefit St. Lucia but also serve as a beacon for other nations. St. Lucia's commitment to safeguarding the health and well-being of its people has been evident through, throughout this crisis. From the rapid mobilization of resources to the diligent efforts of healthcare professionals on the front lines, the nation's response has been both commendable and inspirational. The journey through this pandemic has been one of the learning, adaptation, and resilience. And it's precisely this spirit of reflection and growth that bring us here today. In our collective fight against health emergencies, it's imperative that we pause, reflect, and learn. This after-action review is an opportunity to consolidate the wisdom gained from life experience, identify and maintain the gains, and address areas that need reinforcement. Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Ms. Tessa Inglis, stated that the frankness and openness of participants were welcomed during the discussions as the Ministry looks to cataloging best practices and lessons learned from the pandemic. The challenges you know, presented were by COVID-19 were unparalleled. Um, and while the Ministry has always been you know, able and ready to respond to public health emergencies, we had to dig deep and revise our approaches um, to contend with the new and emerging threat. As we chart the way forward to the implementation of universal health coverage, the need to get everything right in healthcare has you know, never been more pressing to us um, at the ministry. An after-action review is a qualitative, structured review of actions taken in response to an actual public health event as a means of identifying and documenting best practices, gaps, and lessons. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.